Okay, so I'm uploading this video. I had some sound issues, and I'm going to say it. I was doing this as a live stream. I had some sound issues, and uh, I lost my temper a little bit at one of the people pointing it out, and I apologize to that person. So if that person comes back on the stream um, and watches, comes back and watches this as a pre-recording, I you, you have my apology, sir. All right, thank you. Um, okay, right. So. Um, I'm going to do a 360 head rotation. Now, before I start doing the 360 head rotation, I am going to figure out, all right, I'm going to figure out the plan. I'm going to have a plan. Before I start animating, I'm going to have a plan by figuring out what the front and side view of the head look like, right? So, he will have a snout. So notice I'm not doing the three quarter. Everybody wants to do the three quarter because the three quarter is the most attractive view, right? But I'm not doing the three quarter. I'm figuring out in my mind, right, what the front and side view is, right? So I'm putting, I'm doing it accordance to the skull. Now on the live stream, we before we talked a little bit about the skull, right? So I'm doing, I'm figuring out all those bones of the face right we talked about how some of you will remember we talked about the glasses and the zygomatic bone kind of helps us i don't normally think of them as glasses i did that for an instruction way but that that kind of helps you figure out like the, those that that thing there right so what i'm trying to do like okay he will have a chin his chin is here but he's got a hanging bit of structure of his chin he will then have this side piece coming down here so hervonia before i am beginning with um the turnaround i'm really trying to understand the structure of this guy's face right uh from the front view and from the side view right so i'm figuring this out right so this is kind of where this will have now this the, it's the head that always gets me right it's this this chameleon horn so it's going back it's going back on itself now it's joining here on the side right but it's not really coming out like this but remember how i was talking about we need to cheat it if i just go up like that it's kind of boring right so i'm going to cheat it out to the side a little bit right I'm going to cheat it out to the side. We're going to bring it out to the side. So I'm working out things. This isn't a this isn't really a drawing that I'm doing for keeps, right? It's a drawing that I'm doing to help me understand, right? It's it's preparing me, right? And then he's going to have this thing, which is kind of like going to come around the side of his face like this. So I'm working out all these elements, right, of a front view. Now what I'm going to do is very loosely, right, I don't want to get too caught up in the lineup, right. I'm going to think about him from the side view, right. So we're going to, no front, no three quarter view, okay. Um. I'm considering getting a small light pad and light box designed for drawing flip books. Just get a drawing board. Um, I'm not letting it mess with my mojo, Frank. I, I'm, I'm a fair guy and I'm an honest guy with a good heart. And if I think I've done somebody wrong, I will go out and say it right and i'll apologize so it's not about who's right and who's wrong it's more about having respect for yourself by respecting your fellow man right um you never know in the online world you get a lot of trolls and you get a lot of people that are just you know some people say why are you always drawing in white the white hurts my eyes i can't take it go into dark mode please i want to see it in dark mode <laughs> come on uh, how many years have you been watching the white screen? Suddenly dark mode's a thing. I'm sorry, I don't draw in dark mode, right? So I thought it was one of those scenarios, but it wasn't, right? So um, it was a genuine thing about the sound. 
So he, I, I'm going to give him my apologies, right? So this is like this. His nose is out here like this, right? And this comes here like that, right? With his head there like this, right? Um, <laughs> an animated Smeagol from Lord of the Rings, right? Here. Right, so now what I'm figuring out here, right, is again about the skull, right? The skull, the back of the skull has an occipital bone, right? The two parietal bones, right, and the temple bone will sit like this, right? And then the jaw, see, so that construction that we built of that AMB lady herbonia, right? So if we go to side view, don't know why I was doing the back view, right? If we go to side view, we'll talk about side view. That construction, Hervonia, was based on a skull and how we simplify the skull. So if, for example, we look at the side view of a skull, right? We're going to look at that frontal bone, right, which is here, right? And here are the glasses, right? That's the zygomatic and templar arch, right? And that, that's what we're going to call the glasses, right? But like really it's going to come, the nasal bone is going to come out here, right? The maxilla bone is going to come back here, right? Right, and in here you've got the jaw bone, which is going to come here like this, right? And then you've got the parietal bone and the temple bone, right? Which come along the side here like this, and the occipital bone is back here, right? So basically that's your kind of skull i've kind of like extruded it and cartoonified that too much right shouldn't be like that that's your kind of like your skull thing but can you see the glasses thing it still kind of stands right so when i do the side view I always think about those bones of the face. That's why it's so important, right? So his cheekbone is a major thing. Now I'm going to put the eye here because because that's where the nose, the kind of like nose, uh, that's the eye line. It's vague. I'm not like trying to make it line up, right? I'm just trying to work things out. So the brow is going to be here. So see that frontal is going to come here. I'm going to figure out the cheekbone coming into his front mouth right so that's how we're going to figure out the maxilla portion right you got to figure out this stuff that's why you got the anatomy archive of Ovonia. i strongly recommend i know sometimes you just love cartooning and you want to be doing this for so long and you're working on just doing that but what you're doing einstein defined that insanity is doing the same thing over and over again that doesn't work right so if you just, I love cartoons and I want to draw like this cartoon and if I just keep forcing it out and keep, it's going to magically happen, you know, that's not how it works, right? Because you're missing fundamental pieces that will give you that knowledge to put into your drawing. And this isn't just for Harvonia, this is for everybody, right? Unless you know what's there and what, how it works, you're never really going to get to the problem, right? So his jawbone, right? Why has he got this and this, right? His jawbone comes here like this, right? But then his skin hangs down off the jawbone like this, right? So we eliminate that and we get this effect, right? We can put a little bit of the jaw in the side view like that to give that effect a little bit of pull. So this is how we work this stuff out, right? Based on anatomy. So even the back of the neck, his trapezius is out here, his sternocleide is here. You see, now I can get a good neck just because I know that, right? I can get a good neck just because I know that's, that's how it works, right? So now I want to think about, so his cheekbone is here, so this side piece is going to come along under, it's going to go lower than that, right? Actually lower than that. See, I've, I've dragged that down too much, right? 
So it's going to come about here like this, right? So I'm working all this stuff out. So by the time I do the try and animate the head, I'm aware of how it works, right? So again, it's the horn that's going to throw me, right? So the horn comes up and back, right? And then from the cheekbone, it comes out and up to the side, right? And then we've got like, what is that? That's the frontal bone, which is here, but I'm taking it back here to give this hint of the, you know, just before the parietal bone that can go into the horn. I looked at a chameleon skull to get that right, right? Now I'm not going to do the three quarter because the three quarter is going to sit somewhere between this, right? So we all like to draw three quarter for fun because that's where our imagination and the appeal I skipped this process and it cost me hours of redrawing. Absolutely, right? So the thing is, is I'm building the plan in my mind of I'm, what am I doing here? I'm going to write it in bold black for you. I'm problem solving, right? I'm problem solving, right? That's what I'm doing here. So... As I'm problem solving this, I'm now going to do what most people would be wanting to skip the video to see. And that's why everybody fucks up and why everybody is struggling and very few people in this world are actually really good at real animation drawing, right? Because, um, you know, to the eyes of a real animator, you know, just one angle view anime mouth anime face that's well drawn like a comic but with the mouth opening and closing and a bit of hair blowing to, to any decent animator that's not strong drawing for animation right maybe to some kid who loves anime that's true but so a design that actually works and that rotates and you can maintain form and volume and that moves a lot and it looks consistent that's strong animation drawing right so i've problem solved and now i'm going to show you those the, the animation process of trying to figure that out. I may not get it right, I'm still trying to design the character, but I'll just share some of this process with you because um, it's super important, right? So let me start with the sphere of the head, right? I'm gonna start with the sphere of the head and I'm gonna put his eyes in here, right? So I'm being very loose, Herbonia. I'm not trying to be clean and line it up right i know i said your stuff doesn't line up but at the moment i just i'm just being very loose to kind of figure this stuff out right now just so you can all follow along at home right in a kind of interesting way i wouldn't normally work like this but i'm i'm doing it for you right um i'm gonna try and figure out the side view while I'm figuring out the front view, right? So I'm going to put that in the side of his head and I'm going to put his eye at the side here like this, right? I'm just going to kind of... I'm not trying... See, I'm thinking about lining it up, but that'll, that'll all come out in cleanup, right? But there's no in-betweening and nothing until we get the front and side view to a point that we're happy with, right? So now... I'm going to come in here and I'm going to think about his nose, right? Which is going to be kind of in line with his eyes from the front, like that. I'm looking at that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, let's try that, right? So I'm going to bring that out, right, like that. That's going to kind of help me think about that. Now I'm going to think about his foremouth, which is his maxillary portion, right? It's going to be like this. Right. I'm going to kind of think like that. Right. Now, I'm going to think about his mouth. So I'm going to keep his mouth straight, but I'm going to just do something like this. Right. So they're going to be kind of in line with his eyes like this. And then here, I'm going to do the same thing. Right. I'm going to bring it up and bring it down. Right. Gonna keep it kind of in line with his eye. 
right like that so can you see how we've got this 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 so I'm not really I'm thinking about these shapes Hervonia right can you see it's just this shape and it's just extending and extruding to one side and eliminating from this side right now I'm going to do his bottom jaw right his jaw is going to kind of sit on the sides there like this so I've got to work out in order to work out his jaw I've got to work out his cheeks now right so I'm going to kind of draw his cheeks in with the anatomy bone how they would be coming to the front right like this all right and then the jaw is going to be kind of straight along there and come along there like that right see I wouldn't normally do it so graphic like this but I just want you anime characters are a damn nightmare to turn around not for an experienced artist not for an experienced artist right so this is kind of like gonna be like this right not for people who really know and understand human anatomy right and who understand how to cheat which I gave an example with the Mickey Mouse earlier right um, so this thing basically his jaw is gonna be along here his jaw comes along the side his cheekbone comes along here like this right so technically it's coming down to the maxilla like this but I'm just gonna have that there like that right so at the moment we have got we're building out this thing right which is a structure so I'm not trying to draw any cartoon character here over on here. I'm trying to work out the structure of the guy's face, right? This is what he kind of looks. This is what he kind of looks like, right? But before I can get any further, I'm uncomfortable with it. I need to have an idea of his structure of his face and dimension, which is why I'm doing this, right? So now I will then think about other parts. I'll think about the top of his head, right? I'm going to change that from the sphere, the sphere, I'm not going to give him too much of a head, right? I'm going to change it to this, right? So here I'm going to, he's got a kind of long, long neck, so that'll be his trapezius, right? On either side, and that'll be his sternocleidomastoid coming down the middle, right? So then here, I'm going to turn that out to the side, but we're going to keep the trapezius down here into the sternocleide, right? So we have something like this, right? So it's just front and side view. Yes, Hervonia, structure and anatomy is key, but this is, this is where it gets really complex, right? You can't rush things. Remember how I said the AMB lady is not really looking so pretty and as good as she could in that head turnaround because it was designed to teach you structure, right? Then some guy in the chat says anime characters are a damn nightmare to turn around. And I said not for an experienced artist, right? Because you don't, when you go to the pro level, you kind of have to do all this, what I'm showing you in this babyish way, right? You kind of have to do all this, but in your head, and then adjust it and make it more illustrative, right? And that's where a lot of inexperienced people struggle because, uh, you know, you don't have the knowledge. You don't have all of this fundamental grounding, which I'm trying to instill in people, right? So your cartoon character, Havonia, should not be so structured. That sounds like I'm, you're saying, well, why are you teaching me structure? Because... You've got to learn it in order to eliminate it, right? You've got to understand it, you know, and then pull it and play it to make it your own thing, right? 
which is why it's so important to know structure. And your thing was really lacking in structure, Havonia. The face was almost floating on the on the shape of the head. The head shapes would just seem like memorized cartoon shapes, like cut out animation, like cut out characters. They just seem like memorized, oh, this is the shape of a three quarter cartoon head, like like this, right? Oh, come on, I'll slow down a bit, right? So that's the way she'll look from three quarters, right? And then you'll float the face on top, right? There's no understanding of why you're making those lines. My Gracie Good Bear, by the way, has a similar structure to that. But I will go in there now and start adding the construction, right? Adding all this stuff to this, right? In a, in a way that kind of like has all of this but this as well right but you want to go straight to this and it's like saying everything you need is behind this door Hovronia and here's the key but what you're doing and what a lot of people are doing because this key is structure and anatomy this is you're saying I just want to get in there without using this, right? And that is the reality of the situation, right? So unless unless these things are done, you know, and and you have got familiarize yourself with the process, you can't jump a step that you haven't taken that that you don't understand. Because if you jump that step that you don't understand, you just you, you will not be able to go any further. You think you might, and many people think they might, and they keep fudging it and fudging it and fudging it, but these people never really get any good. Whether they get somewhere in life is a different matter, but if you want to get good, they don't really get any good, right? Because they don't know these things. Any competent artist will tell you these things. Right. So now I want to figure out his uh, his horn on his head. Right. So but, but before I do that, I'm going to figure out how to make a nicer shape with his mouth. Right. So I'm going to bring this down here, around about here and bring this here. Now I'm going to look here. So this is where I this is where I could struggle, right? So this is going to be kind of like this, right? So that's where the flap of skin is going to be. Hair like this. Right? I don't want to join that. So we have something like that. Right? Now I'm going to think about the horn on his head, right? So it's going to be going to, now it's coming out the side of his cheekbones. Now remember, I did those drawings to kind of work it out. So I want to take it out to the side. I'm going to take this out to the side, right? So this is the kind of like the horn on his head, like that. I'm going to now look at that. That's going to travel backwards, all right? And then we're coming up from the cheekbone here. We're going to have something like this. So that's kind of like this view of that. Right? So this is the way, this is basically the rough construction of the front and side view, right? Now, I don't have time to tidy it up and make a perfect drawing of it, but what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to try and I'm going to try and make it look like this guy, right? Very quickly and very loosely, right? I'm going to draw him black, and we're going to try and make it look at this guy. Yep. So. 
so now we're going to put his eyes in right so now Havonia I'm just you're just gonna have to put up with the fact that I can't give you all the information you just you just video is here just to watch for your process right so I'm gonna put his eyes in here at the moment he's it's not one eye width apart it's a little bit more and I don't like it right but it's okay because I'm gonna bring his brows in and we're gonna see what this eye patch does right so the eye patch is here and now it suddenly feels like it's more like one eye width apart right but I may want to bring those eyes closer together but I don't care this is all this is all part of the process of understanding the character design right better so I can get a better design right I'm not happy with the design so I'm I'm coming here to try and get a better design by doing these things right so the nose is here the nose is here this will come straight in here now I'll think about the mouth right? like this right and he'll have lips and we're bringing that in right so I'm familiarizing myself with how the skin and everything will be on his face right that's what I'm doing I'm trying to work that out I'm still not trying to draw perfect eyes or anything. I'm just trying to get something that resembles what I what I want, right? Now we're going to get the the folds of skin which are coming here. Is the face symmetrical? It could be a little bit off balance. Um, the unvarnished truth. He makes it appealing by discussing things other instructors leave out. That's why they ain't instructors, Edge D they're just showboating right i i showboat like everybody else but i take a pleasure because my showboating actually instructs people right so this thing and there was an example of showboating <laughs> so this basically is what i want for the that's the jaw right but we've got the fold of skin that's going to come underneath here, right? Which I'm just going to kind of make a little kind of stretching thing like that. Maybe put another little stretch there. That gives it a nice texture, right? This is a very complicated character, but I, I, I figure, you know, um, this is what I was going to do today anyway, Hervonia. So I thought since your post was relevant I may as well stream this and talk to you about it right about my process so now the horn is gonna come out to the side it's like this and we're gonna bring this one out to the other side now I would need to do a symmetrical flip to to get this horn per perfect but I'm not doing that at the moment because I'm just on a live stream and I'm just gonna figure this out and share it with you right we're not here to finish anything now I'm gonna bump that horn out like that now again this is gonna help me with his head right I'm gonna put a little bit of that kind of finish on his head there to kind of help me figure out this right now, so one thing that will make this character appealing is, is if I bring his eyes a bit closer together, right? It's looking a bit too realistic, a bit too human, right? Um, a chameleon would have its eyes further apart, but I want cartoon appeal, right? So, one of the things that really gives this character a good identity is this: these fins that are almost, I want them to almost be like dreadlocks, right? I'm going to keep them in, in line with this, right? And this is going to come in and it's going to cut into the side like that 
Right. So. That is kind of like where I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to. Change this. I'm going to draw his head here. Kind of like. And I'm going to eliminate that. There. Okay. Right. Let's just put a few lines in there to help give that some relief. Right. Okay. I'm going to take the yellow out of that and I'm going to make that gray. Right. So now we're going to go in here and look at the side view. Right. Now, Herbonia, this should all be lining up. Right. I'm not so concerned with 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 if it with my thing really lining up at the moment because I'm working out the head turn. So you have to you can't do everything at once, right? You can't say that I want to get a perfect head all lining up when you don't really understand your character's model in the first place. Do you understand, right? So that's what I said. That's why I stopped the stream and asked the question: What do you do when you're trying to find out? A way to go and you don't know how to get there right you've got to have a plan right so this Hervonia is my plan right I might be trying to line things up a little bit but it's not my concern at the moment but I've got to stress they sh they have to line up in the finished thing right if you want to do a 360 head rotation it has to line up but there's no point in trying to make things line up when it's not clear in your head how it works. Do you, do you follow that, right? It seems so obvious, but too many people are just too busy trying to make everything so perfect all the time without understanding that you kind of got to work stuff out. So here you've got me, a really super high-level animator, on stream, confessing to you, that I don't know how this is going to work at the moment. So I'm sharing with you my brain work, right? I'm sharing with you how I'm trying to make this thing, right? See, my lip is not really lining up there. Neither is my chin. The chin is here like this, right? So none of this is lining up at the moment because I'm too busy looking at my construction, right? But I don't care because I'm, I'm wanting to get my drawing I'm wanting to figure out what he'll look like from the side view in an accurate, in a kind of accurate way with a few cheats, right? To pull it together, right? So that's my concern at the moment. So that's like what that looks like, right? So now let's think about his head. His head is down here, right? So I'm going to bring his neck a little bit this way so let me get this horn sorted out first like this now I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to look at it without the structure so I can watch the shapes changing right so this is going in to the brow and this is going in to the zygomatic right so you see how I'm trying to figure out the anatomy of how that's connecting I'm not going to draw it all in in the final thing but we want to understand see that's that that's actually this thing but I've moved it up here to try and understand how this is going to work maybe I'll bring this horn out a bit more here like this right to try and figure that out right this would then have to be higher up here like this right? like that so figure that figure that out there like that okay so now we've got the dreadlocks so they come at the side the fins right so here's where the kind of mickey mouse ear cheat is going to come in to make this thing look appealing right because if it was just a a 3D thing, like a true 3D, it would be a super flat thing that would be like that. But I want it to change, I want him to have a good silhouette on his profile. So this wouldn't work if you're trying to do a perfect, like the AMB lady, what we were trying to do, right? 
this wouldn't necessarily work. What's that? I have something to say. Um, okay, right, there we go. Never mind. Somebody brought attention to themselves. I've given them a cent attention. I hope you are fulfilled, right? I hope they're fulfilled. You know, you were looking for attention. I've given you attention. Whatever it is that is giving you difficulty in life, my friend, I really hope you get through it. Um, I hope you're really fulfilled and you're a happy man. You're the creator of it. Very good. And um, thank you for joining us. All right. There we go. Everybody give him a round of applause. Right. So now we have got this thing, right? Which is along the bottom here. Right, and I'm going to bring it along the halfway mark on its face. And that tells me where this thing kind of ends. Up here, right? So it ends here. So it ends up there like that. Now I want to kind of have fun with this. So I'm not going to really change it, right? It's going to look the same from the side as it does from the front, right? And that's the beauty of... 2D animation. You look at Shere Khan, you look at all those great 2D characters, they cheat with the with the design. It's not a cheat, it's a design. It's why we have these character designs. Now what I'll do to make this interesting is I will play a bit with the ang the, the kind of what happens to the fin line from this side, right? Because here we've got this jowl coming out, right? So I will think about that coming out and bring that in there like this. Alrighty. So, hair harmonia, I've kind of figured out. Let's get the black. What he is going to look like from the side and from the front, right? Now, one of the things I've got here is this lip, right? My lip is not quite happening, right? It should be down here, right? And it should be up here, like that. Makes a world of difference, right? Makes a world of difference. So, we have got this. And we have got this now. So let's make that red. Let's make that red. So can we see how this is starting to come together, right? We're figuring out his how he will look in various dimensions, right? Before we go trying to make him... Um, anything else right now what I'm gonna do is is we're one hour 25 in right I'm not gonna be here for much longer because I've, I've got stuff to do is I'm going to figure out his three quarter right and I'm gonna figure out his three quarter purely based on the construction that um, I've been using right so here right I'm gonna line this up even though this doesn't really line up Hervonia I'm gonna line all this up you see his mouth goes a little climbs a little high right so can you see the error here Hervonia right it doesn't I could lie to you and say I'm arcing it but no we want it to line up right we want it to line up sometimes you know in a cartoon world we don't we can cheat it and that's the beauty but if you want the perfect laser like head turn then it has to all line up right but we, but hair it'll still look great and i can still cheat it but so i'm just making you aware Havonia, that like you know the things that you were trying to do in that head turn are not necessarily what i'm doing here because it's too early for me to try and do that with this character i'm trying to figure him out right i'm trying to figure him out but i'm loosely lining up things now i need to look at his 
his this view right to get that right so let's look at that right yeah then we look at the chin the chin comes here like this right. and this comes there right so we have something like this right then we have the brows let's get the brows zygomatic bone right i'm always talking about the remember the glasses right so his is going to be here but it's going to be going into that right because why because that's his front his front maxilla bone right and the cheekbone always goes there where where that is right then the jaw is going to come straight like this right we're going to bring that out um, 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 yeah like this the head now this could be where it goes completely down on me right And then I'll talk like Daniel in the karate get the whole world's closing down on me. Right, so this is like that. Right. So at the moment I'm kind of just loosely constructing this thing. Right. And we'll have to pull it together when we look at the form later on. Right, so uh, one more thing which identifies the character is this so i fig kind of figuring out now i need to figure out this thing right i'm not really going to look at wh where it's going because i'm just cheating it out right um, um, um. so we have this right so even though this is not lining up Hervonia can you see how it still has that sense of dimension and solidity um, that we that we were kind of missing and it doesn't look like I'm just sliding facial features across the characters across the character right so let me come in here now and kind of like get these facial features moving notice there is no light box at the moment i am um, when lining up you may want the light box but as i said before you worry about getting perfect 3d turnarounds hervonia right and anybody else i'm talking to hervonia because i'm purely streaming mainly because of what she posted in the community right um you need to really have a, a plan and an understanding of what it is you're doing right and most people when they're trying to design a character they just draw it it's not good enough to just draw it and and say i hope i can draw him right the next time well have you done something like this with it and how many days have you spent how many pages of your sketchbook have you spent figuring out how it works and not just copying crap from the internet which says here's how you draw disney eyes and anime eyes and i like goku so i'm gonna make my character look like goku and i'm gonna copy goku's eyes and but i can't draw goku's eyes from this angle and i want to do it to that angle it's not quite working uh so uh, never mind it'll happen i'll just keep doing it <laughs> it's not really gonna work guys right you you gotta really really kind of try and understand what it is you're trying to do you got to work things out you got to think you really have to think when you do uh this kind of stuff um let me look at that side view of the head three quarters looking pretty good actually right see the more i draw it the better i feel about it right there's things that i want to kind of like this thing isn't necessarily going to work, right? I don't care about these things working quite at the moment because, you know, if you look in this image here, his dreads are much smaller, right? 
But I'm kind of liking the big, the bigger dreads at the moment. I feel it gives them just that little bit of a, an edge. So I will play and refine that a little bit later, right? But at the moment, I feel I'm getting somewhere with this character, right? So now I will think about this going here like that. Right, and there's one more pose that I'm, I'm two more, what are we doing for time? One hour 32, so I'm going to speed up a little bit, right? But I've, I've got to do a rear view because of the horn on this guy's head, right? So I'm going to put that here like that, right? That kind of works good, but that, that, yeah. We should technically see a bit of the back of his head there. Now that's an element of the design I don't like. I want to hide that. If I look at this drawing here, we don't see that. But maybe that could be good. Maybe that could make the horn work. Because it's, yeah. Yeah, you see, what I didn't like about this is the horn doesn't work. We don't see enough of the back of the head. But yeah, so, yeah, so you see how we work it out, how anatomy helps, right? So, now we've got this, right? We've got this. So I'm going to take this. And I'm going to paste it in there. And I'm going to make it a, this color. And I'm going to think about the back of his head. All right. So the back of his head will be about here. Right. Let me, let me look at it in relation to this. All right. The back of his head will be about here. His occipital bone will be about here. He will have his trapezius of his neck coming here. His sternoclides will be down here like this. Right. Um, the horn will be coming back on us. Right. So I may need to look at a chameleon's horn from the rear view, but at the moment it's kind of concave like that. Right. If that's the right word. Right, so there, like this. Yeah, that that'll do. That that'll look nice there, like that. So now I've got to think about the sections of the skull, the parietal section. So this is coming into his zygomatic bone here, right? His jaw bone, right, will be around here. Right, so that's where his jaw is. So even from the back view, I'm figuring out his jaw, right? But then he's got that jaw, which comes down like this. And we've got the fins, which I'm being very vague with, right? Okay, so I've kind of got something to think about for the back view here, right? Now, how did I work out the back of his head so easily and quickly? Well, it's similar to this, right? If I just do this, right? If I just do something like this, right? This is why you need to know this stuff, right? If I do something like this, right? You could say, yeah, that's 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 a that's a nice drawing right that's a nice drawing but it's it's simple it's it's not very informed i'll tell you that this drawing is extremely informed right it's an extremely good drawing right for a simple shape like that now how can i do that right how is it can i do that i'll tell you how i did that right because i totally understand right What's going on, right? Upper trapezius, middle trapezius, lower trapezius, right? Scapula, scapula, right? Uh, lateral delt, rear delt, right? Lateral tricep, uh, large tricep, lateral tricep, tricep tendon, right? The latissimus dorsi, right, coming here like this, 
right? The external oblique, right? The gluteus maximus, right? The denser fasciae latte, right? I'm going to continue just to illustrate the point home, right? The gastric nimius, the soleus, right? The gracilis, and the sartorius, the abductor magnus, right? The gastric nimius, the Achilles tendon, right? The bicep, right? The tricep tendon, the extensor flexor ulnaris. The extensor corporal radialis, right? Now, the trapezius, the occipital bone, I like to call it the occipital bone, right? The sternocleidomastoid, the hyoid, the mylohyoid, right? You see, we know all that. That's what makes the drawing good. So similarly, when you want to do the back of a head, you see, you can draw very fast and you can get all the information in there because I can come in here and say, well, the occipital bone is here, right? The two parietal bones are here. The temple arch is there, which is also the zygomatic arch is there. The jaw bone is here, right, going around the side. But then here you've got the upper trapezius, then you've got the sternocleidomastoids combining that neck, right? If he had his seven uh, vertebrae of the clavicle portion, uh, the cervical vertebrae, they would be there, right? Now the horn, basically I will have coming around the side of there like that. And we'll have it coming around the side, but all I'm wanting to try and indicate is that this is kind of curving in, right? So then I will have to draw this as if it is curving in as well to create that with line, right? So that creates that feel, right? So if he had ears, his ears would be here and it would join there, but he doesn't. Instead, he's got these um, fins, right? Which I'm just going to be loose with, kind of like there, like that, right? So, that basically is that. Now, I'm just going to put it with a small pen to kind of match up with the others, right? So I have got an idea, a vague idea. It's still kind of vague, but it's getting clearer to me. Do you understand? Like this is character design 101 if you want to design characters for strong hand-drawn animated projects, right? If you just want to design characters to show... Um, to show in your portfolio for a cutout and you just want people to like your posts on Instagram and you just keep drawing the same pose all over again because you know you're a one trick pony and that's what gets likes and followers then ignore all this information right ignore all this information but if you want to really be good at character design if you want to really your character designs to actually be functional and you want them to work then this information is for you, all right? It's got your name written on it. This video is, the universe is sending this video out specifically for you to be seeing it at the right time, at the right stage in your life, right? Um, okay. Um, let's say bye-bye to Superman's girlfriend um there we go done right so we've got this 
All right. So my head turn is still not perfectly lining up, Hervoni, as I'm working out these things, but hopefully you can see that there's structure. The structure is kind of saving the bad lineup, right? Um, which the lineup can be tweaked if I, as you can see, as I'm just speeding through this thing, I'm not really trying to go for lineup at the moment, right? I'm just, I haven't even drawn lines, I'm just figuring it out, right? It's too early, right? So, now between here and here, I'm going to figure out the rear three quarter. What I might do is get this three quarter, right? And I'm going to put this three quarter here, right? And I'm going to use that to kind of help me, right? I'm going to use the outline to kind of help me um, with my silhouette, right? Maybe I'll put a little bit of an eye there, which will kind of help me with my lineup, but I'm not concerned too concerned about that right so that's going to kind of help me get my rear three quarter right can you see how everything's kind of sitting in this the silhouette of the character is really defining this guy's head right um so i really needed to do this on stream or off stream this really needed to be done so it's my absolute pleasure to be if, if, if this is helping somebody right i don't like to disclose these characters I'm working on too much, uh, but I feel he's not ready yet anyway, so it's okay, right? It's, things are going to be changing about this guy, right? So here's where we've got this. Now I'm going to change his cheek bone, right? His cheek bone is going to be going to be down there like that, right? Gonna, his brow is up here his cheekbone is always angling down we only see the bottom side of it right so i'm gonna bring it down from there so even on lining up i've got to be mindful of what i want to do with that cheekbone right again i'm thinking see up well, with the minute i start to think line up i start to kind of screw myself over right so I want to, because uh, I don't know that what the character would look like from this angle. So I'm trying to figure that out, right? So here, this is going um, away, right? So we're going to half this mouth, right? So this mouth is going to be up here like this. So I'm going to half the distance, right? I'm going to bring the lip out to the side. We wouldn't see that aspect of the lip there. We would just see that. Right, so while I use that thing to kind of help me, I'm not, I'm also cheating, right? This hanging thing, we wouldn't really, we would, it would be a lot more hair, right? But I want to keep the appeal of the design, so I'm keeping that, right? So I'm thinking about design appeal at the moment, right? So now this is going to come here like this. Let's think about that. Let's. Let's actually bring it in, actually. Maybe it's a good way. See? So I've got to, I'm being more accurate now. I'm bringing it in. But I'm sliding it down, right? It'll slide down. We'll angle the slide down when it goes there like that, right? What I might do is just think a little bit of the underjaw here, right? Like this. Now I think about the occipital bone, which will be in the middle, right? and the back of his head will be here like this. Right? So we have this. And this really should be like this. Right? I'm going to turn that light box off. I'm going to figure out the flat of his skin, right, which will be something like that. Yeah. 
you see this is the challenge right so now we have to think about the jaw coming on either side of his head like that right that's going to help me with this it's going to help me with getting that right okay. it's help me with getting that right and I'm going to put it on the other side like that okay so the horn I'm going to use so that that horn is going to be it's going to go into the eyebrow right remember the anatomy it's going to go into the cheek like that right now I'm changing the angle right so that's going to be difficult right so we're going to have to really try and figure out this is why when we try and work out the angle of the pelvis in the anatomy archive it primes us for figuring out complex angles in in the illusion of 3d space to help sell something right right but this this character is no you know it's not even the the main hero or the main villain right but it's proving to be a lot, pose a lot more challenge, right? Which is making me think, do I want this character to actually be this complicated, right? For this particular design. Um, so this should be more like this. Right? And this horn would be here, right? That there like that. Maybe more like that. Yeah, that's giving me something. That's something I'm getting through. Right. And then that'll, that'll introduce itself like that. That works. Right, okay. Now we want to think about the fins. The fins I've I've been kind of loose with anyway, right? So it doesn't matter, right? So now where does that fin that fin is behind his head so it's actually what's it doing it's coming it's there will be his jaw behind there actually so this is a good way to cheat the Garrick to cheat the this information here so the thing is is I'm working this out even if we'll never see it on his head turn right because it's important to understand the structure of your character, right? See, this fin is going to save a lot of bother if I indeed keep with that. Because it's kind of like helping hide certain things that are quite challenging about the character. But I have worked out those challenging things anyway. Because they help me they help me right so i'm going to come in here and i'm going to now work purely with the rear view as i flip to to think about making this work right, right. And then we got the brow here. Now I've got to work a little bit with the profile to get the the brows right. Right. It's like a game of tennis from one side to the other, right? So we'll have this here like this. We'll keep the eye there for now. Again, we wouldn't really see his eye, right? And I may eliminate it. Right? So now we're going to work with that inner portion. Right. It's going to come up here like this. So the head is going to be like that. So we have the fin here like this. So I'm kind of getting something that is working for his rear three quarter and the beauty of it is is like we're not going to always animate a perfect rotation of his head so which is why i say that we don't really design characters to necessarily 
work a hundred percent in this because we cheat in and out of shapes and we we sometimes do a fast in between and and go slow in and out of the the favors and we kind of jump these frames and they kind of just are a cheat right but when you want to work out form and volume that's why we have that in the advanced archive to help us work these things out to give us the brain and the mindset of somebody who fully understands these things right so here we've got the turning head and what I can do just out of interest because I don't feel like I feel as I've just muscled my way through this that the character itself will not a hundred percent work in uh, in um, in uh, storyboard flip selected scene in 3d in in inverse but i'm gonna put it in inverse anyway because i feel um okay wrong thing excuse me um wrong thing to do we need to create that right now we can do it Storyboard flip selected scene and this one here. Uh, that one there, we paste that in. Storyboard flip selected scene. All right. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take this here and I'm going to get the profile because it's not going to add up because I haven't animated it to add up. So I'm going to have to do a bit of my own little tweaking right i'm going to post this here i'm going to turn this red i'm going to pull that here right and then i'm going to hit it cut that and i'm going to put that there right bum, 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 bum. There. and then we're going to have one more here and i'm going to get the front view again that's what i I'm going to put that there, bum, that, bum, 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 bum. right, so that works, that should work there, right, so now I'm going to add this one, and I'm going to paste that in there, I'm going to put that red, I'm just going to kind of drag that, so it's kind of in place, All right, about 100%, All right, Edit cut. I'm going to get that. I'm going to paste that in. Bum, bum, bum. These drawings are actually working in inverse. So it's good. Like I expected difficulties, but they're working in inverse, right? And then one final one here, which is the one that I know is going to probably be problematic, is we're going to get this one here. Because there's why I know it's problematic. There's a slant there like that right so let's get that there and let's put that there let's make that red let's bring that in bring it in a little bit more i believe that should that should dark right edit cut right and paste that in and <laughs> okay excuse me right well, even that works, right? So that turned out a lot better than I expected. Um, ba -ba -bum. So here we see the rotation of the character's head, right? Not a hundred percent at all. In fact, um, if we were to in between that Hervonia, it would be all of the problems that happen in yours would be happening here but remember what i told you right with structure right your you first need to understand structure before you start just sl anybody anybody hervonia right can draw a line right get, you can get you can get the line tool let's use a uh, bright red right 
get the line tool and you can just draw your lines right anybody which is what a digital cutout person would do right can take this right let's make it as hopeless as we can right let's give him a little bit of a spiky beard at the bottom of that line that doesn't even have and then they can draw it on that same line and even with a line for the top one which i didn't do right anybody can slide that to there like that like any you know anybody can slide along the line perfectly right that's not the difficult part right you did kind of struggle and not get that because your lines weren't you weren't really looking does it line up right but what most people cannot do is have a visual in 2d with their imagination without seeing a 3d sculpture is visualize how something would look from those various dimensions in space right uh, as form in space so which is why you need structure you need to plan these things you need to really figure out um, your uh, route to your destination so that's why I took the time to ask you those questions in the chat like if you don't know let me know but before I go, I've got to talk about the sponsor. Okay, you want to learn how to do this stuff? I sponsor myself, uh, Real Animator Training, AMB Animation, right? This video is good. It gives you an example uh, of things. But if you go over to ambanimation.com, all right, and if you look, uh, you can join the Real Animator Training Library. And Real Animator Training Library has... Uh, many archives in here edutainment archives are kind of like what you're watching today uh, lots of fun lots of uh, silly voices lots of mucking around lots of ch interaction with the chat quick tips that you can take away feel inspired feel motivated you really want to learn how to do it uh, then you're gonna have to follow me step by step um, today we've been talking about uh, 360 head turn right before you do any of that you've got to go through basics intermediate anatomy will help you and then we've got the advice. That's why in this bundle, right, the training archive bundle, I don't give you the anatomy archive. I give you the basics archive, the intermediate archive, anatomy for the animator, and the pick up and play lectures archive. I basically, you get every archive in here except for the one that most of you I know want, right? There's a reason for that because if you're going to if you're gonna you're actually gonna save a lot of money by getting this bundle but it's 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 like paying for an xbox up front right um but you're not gonna get this archive because if you're gonna buy the bundle then you i don't want you to jump around and be doing things that you shouldn't be doing because you gotta learn you see me rush through this it doesn't just come to me like you gotta learn a lot of fundamental basics right and you can't be skipping anatomy right you can't be skipping it right so uh but let's go and look in the advanced archive and we've got the um complete character turnaround you see we've looked at the head which we've learned which hervonia was trying to kind of figure this one out from the free uh sample that i gave of the head right in uh in this uh 360 head rotation right you've got like five videos like so this first one is one hour 42 minutes this is two hours two minutes this is one hour 18 this is 51 minutes this is one hour 53 minutes right so you've got it all that and you're going to basically be doing a head turn that um kind of like how does this video start maybe it gives gives you the kind of like This gives you the primer for it all. Um, okay, see, real animator training is so hardcore that I even skip out my nice little um, thing. So let's just go back to the summing up video that you get, basically. So, um, where is it? Right. 
you get this. So we're going to watch this again one more time, right? Just so you understand, right? Animator Training Library Advanced Animation Course on Advanced Solid Drawing. This is going to be the final part, part five of our five part lecture series. Um, whereas in we will be uh, doing this solid head turn we have been doing uh, in part one. If you have not watched those lectures, it is highly uh, suggested that you do so. We learned how to build this construction head in parts one and two. We learned how to rotate the head in a construction form to maintain the solidity. In part three and four, we added a facial features onto that construction to get this effect. Now, in the final part, we are going to be uh, placing a hair design on top. As you see, the hair covers a lot of the back, so there's a lot of information there that is not uh, that you have gained uh, on drawing a head that can be applied to your own designs throughout this lecture but it's probably a good idea that you follow along as uh, pausing the video step by step with the uh, model that I am using. So we put... Right, so that is basically like, you know, in the advanced archive, you get detailed step-by-step -step instruction on how to do what I quickly skimmed through today, and you follow along, right? And you saw that constructive face. And in the, in the advanced archive, you also get this, right? You get to learn how to do this. So we have our completed our full solid turnaround. That's as far as we're going to take this series. 15 lectures I've walked you through each and every process by creating this humanoid, uh, 3D humanoid uh, the character. Thing, right? uh, then building on that with the body, with these major frames. We learned about adding a hairstyle. And then after the hairstyle, we in between it, uh, to get it to the same level of fluidity as this guy here so it eventually becomes that guy you've learned advanced solid drawing uh, the complete character turnaround so basically that's what for the gonna, advanced archive of the a basically that's what you're getting um you know if you look at that that's this this one is a 15 part lecture series of step-by-step -step videos so 1 hour 11, 1 hour 15, 1 hour 15, 1 hour 24, 1 hour... So well over 15 hours, right? Well over 15 hours. Some of the, these videos all being well over an hour, right? So you're getting real step-by-step -step instruction. But I must stress, I, a lot of people are interested in the advanced archive because they want these advanced skills. That's... But... It's going to be very difficult to get there. You can step by step follow me along and get something that kind of looks like what you're parroting in the video, but you'll have, you won't really have the brain stuff that's actually powering that because these step by step lectures are based on what you're learning in each separate archive. So if you're not learning about basic animation laws and principles um, with simple sticks and bouncing balls and flower sacks, uh, then you're going to struggle uh, putting that into real world practice, right? Um, but you've seen me put it into real world practice here. So that is the Real Animator Training Library, the world's best learning resource in the crafts of hand-drawn animation. Go to AMB Animation to check it out. If you'd like to support me, for example, if you found this video helpful, there's a donation link in the description. You can always donate to me. Um, also, uh, this character, I've, I've, amazingly, um, I haven't really talked much about it, but I've already sold a few, so people like her. We've got Gracie Goodbear, which is uh, the t-shirt and stickers, so you can get stickers of this character, and, you know, you've got male t-shirts, you know, with the, uh, yeah, or you can have a female t-shirt there if you are a female, um, and we've got stickers here like that. So... Um, you could got various designs, so you just simply go to the merchandise store So there's if you like it buy it if you just want to thank me and support me Then you know there you don't have just you don't think oh well the training library is a bit beyond your age 
there's some other ways you can help me out and support AMB animation and real animator training and get something in return there also. Okay, so that is that. Now I feel what I'm going to do, right, is one of the things I'm going to do before I do anything else. So I'm going to copy each of these. And oh dear, I didn't. I copied the. I sense a crash going on, right? I'm going to paste that here like this. I'm going to put that up there, right? Let's see. Yeah, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put that up there like that. So that when I work with my character design, right? This is all character design. It's it's just all to help me progress through, right? As I start drawing my character, right? In various poses. I'm going to put this here like this. And just one more. I don't need the other ones. I'm going to put this here like this, right? Now I believe uh, that I've already used solid black on this one, so let me just change his color up some. Right? Now I'm going to get this here. I'm going to scale that down. I'm going to move that there. So now I have some reference for myself when I'm continuing to draw uh, this character in his new poses, right? I still want to change him a little bit. I said, well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe his eye width is correct. But once I put expressions on him and poses on him, he'll get more appealing. I still feel I want to do more with him. There's still something about him that is not quite to my taste, so um, not quite what I'm looking for in the in the in the project. It might be a nice design, a nice drawing, but we need to adjust it. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to be doing off uh, stream. Um, but okay, so thank you very much for joining me. AMB, when a character is the protagonist or antagonist, does a studio go for a simple or complex look and does it change if the project is... I think um, I think we're always going for simpler looks uh, if we're doing hand-drawn animation because it means less pencil mileage. But sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. And if it means more pencil mileage, then that's going to happen, right? But you're always going to try and go for the simpler look. Um, My goal is to be an animator. I've done the ball exercises, but when it comes to drawing of faces and bodies, it's difficult. Well, let me give you like let, let me give you a visual example of something, right? Now turn your volume up because depending on my ability to do it and my health today is a different matter, right? I want you to throw a punch for me, right? Let's let's all have some fun, right? Let's I want you to throw the hardest punch that you can physically throw, right? And tell me, what do you hear when you do it? Get out of your chair. You could be a man, you could be a woman, you could be anything you like, I don't care. I want you to throw a bunch for me. I'm gonna look at the chat. I'm gonna look at the chat. Tell me when you've done it, what did you hear? I'm gonna wait. Be honest. Be honest. What did it sound like? My elbow popping. Edge deep got the snap. Very good. My sleeve. I don't hear anything. Snap, snap. Throw punch. Elbow crack. Right now I want you to listen to this. Right? 
Did you all hear that? Did you hear that? I'll do it again. When you did it, did it make that sound? Tell me if when you punched, did it make that sound? Okay, some of you did. That's good. Right. So, the thing is, I can break bricks with my hands. I can do all kinds of things. It didn't just happen because I did it once. It didn't just happen because I'm standing there doing this really slow with a weight. Right? Or I do like 200 press-ups a day. All of that goes into being able to do that. Right? Drawing an animation is no different. Right? You say, I did the ball exercise but I find it difficult. The ball exercise of a bouncing ball is good, but, you know, the ball rotating and turning, you don't just do something once, or let's do 10. I've got bad form because I want to rush through 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten okay right i did it ten times when i wake up tomorrow this has to be the size if not of arnold schwarzenegger of jean claude van damme's arm and if it isn't i don't understand because i've done it ten times ten times you see how ridiculous that is you see how ridiculous that is It's so ridiculous. It's so simple. But because people, they don't want to do the, the study. They don't want to do the training. They don't want to do the work. But they expect to be amazing. How is it? How? You tell me. Why, why is it you, I'm not saying you when I say you, I'm just saying in general. Do people have such a low opinion of drawing that they think anybody should just be able to get it like that? But if it's working out, working out is somehow so much more skillful than drawing. I'll tell you this. I ain't dissing working out. I've been, I'm almost 50 now, right? I'm on the late side in my 40s. So I physically, I, I'm still good, but I'm not what I, what, what I used to be. I'll tell you this. For me, working out is way easier than drawing. And getting a six-pack is way easier than drawing. Way easier than getting good at animation. But we are all these people here that think that somehow... It's not happening and they haven't got what it takes just because they aren't, you know, they aren't following the rules. There are rules. There are rules to working out. There are rules to doing it. There are rules to getting that snap in that punch, right? You got to turn. You got to, if you just use your arm, it's not good enough. I got to fire it from my hip. I've got to keep that die. I've got to throw. I've got to feel the, feel it and then release it at the very end and at the very the very end you've got to twist it and then it just just like that right so there are rules to it all right so 
I want you to really think if you're one of these people that try to that have been spending a long time doing this and you just think you just haven't got what it takes or you just You'll never be good at because you've tried so hard. And you just can't do it because you just, it's just you. Bullshit. Bullshit. That's the truth. That's just excuses. There is the way, but that way just isn't fun. And it just isn't appealing because you still you're adult but you still want to be like a child right the flip side is as a child has way more imagination than an adult because a child has got less limits other than the limits of its upbringing and its parents who put those limits on the child but the child needs to be disciplined and it needs to be controlled and you have to bring that childish you have to bring the child don't be childish be childlike with your ambitions and your goals but be disciplined and focused like an adult with your process and your method and you'll get it all there is to it dude I'm in my 30s I work out frequently I'm 260 pounds this man has the ability to take down any beats with his brain <laughs> yeah well I've got 16 plus years on you uh, stu studio anima so um, it's all relative my friend it's all relative age is just a number um, but uh, experience counts a lot so I like to I'm so thankful that I have this these martial artists philosophy and this way in me because and now I've got this camera because I can illustrate it to you in different ways to help you see and help you understand that you can do things and sometimes the truth hurts and it's easier to tell yourself a lie to make it feel better right why are you expecting less from your drawing when you're not putting in the things you need to be putting in you're not doing it the way that works you're not doing it the way that it needs to be done but instead you're doing the way you think it should be done well if you don't know how to do something then you can you can say well you think it should be done this way well you can think it should be done that way but you don't know how to do it okay test it but then if you test it and it keeps on giving you the same results and you just still keep on doing it because you want to be right to avoid doing something else that's just plain stubbornness to the point of borderline insanity and narcissism right many people some people feel because because I, I I love my work and I love what I do and I talk the way I do they uh, out of defense they throw the word you narcissist at me right well that's not my my point is not if, if I see something wrong or with what I'm doing and I don't like what I'm doing I change it I, I apologize to whoever I find out what I want that but I'm not trying to defend myself whoever you want to think about me what you want to think go think that about me I don't care it does not it's just no skin off my back but my view of narcissism is by self-harming yourself stifling your progress just because you want it to work the way you think it should work when it clearly doesn't and you're torturing yourself it's being a slave to the ego and not willing to break the ego down and remold it into the manner 
that'll give you a happier, healthier, and more wealthier and successful life, right? So nobody's asking you to change your goal or your direction. It's about changing your attitude and your approach. Right? Here's the thing about trying new things. You don't just try new things, right, either. It has to relate to what you're doing. you got to think now. Most people don't think. They remember. They remember and confuse remembering with thinking. They remember how something went wrong, or they remember how something was so boring, or they remember how it didn't feel nice to them. And then they go and they, they, they believe that they're thinking about it and that's made them come to a decision. No, they've remembered an unpleasant experience. They felt sensation in the body. They've made an association between the unpleasant experience and the uh, sensation in the body. And then they have formed a conclusion based on that confused act which they believe to be thinking about something. Thinking about something is having a clear and definite understanding of what you want to do, why you want to do it, and how you're going to do it. And, you know, having a definite destination, right? And then every, any idea that comes in the mind, you've got to think without basing it on sensation. You've got to think based on research, actual factual thinking. Can this idea help me to where I'm going? Will this idea get me what I want? Only a fool would uh, discard exploring that. And then if you explore that and it doesn't work out, it isn't been a waste. It's been what, where all the money, people talk about big pharmaceutical companies, right? right and whether they're good or whether they're evil or whatever i'm not going to get into that but we all know how much money they spend right we all know how much money they spend probably spend the most amount of money there is in any of these companies and you know where it all goes into what they call r d research and development right so everything you do that you clearly thought will this idea get me towards my goal it's basically research and development. And if it's what you call failure, which I call temporary defeat, it simply is telling you, don't waste any more time on that. It didn't work. But you've got to have done it properly, right? And you know yourself inside if something is working or if you've given it enough of a chance to allow it to work, or you've got a preconceived idea and you're bored doing it, and it makes you uncomfortable, and you don't give it a chance, and you stick with it for as little possible time, and then you say, oh, I didn't work. That, myself, is called, my friend, is called delusion and deception, right? So these are some things to think about that will help people get back on track who are drifting from their goal. Um, I've really enjoyed doing this. Now, this live stream is not going to stay up because we had some really nasty sound issues. And once again, to the person who pointed it out, and I thought they were just being a, a tech head who was just unnecessarily frowning because normally my mic's really good. Um, uh, they were right, and I was wrong. So if you never watch my videos again because I had a little bit of a moan at you on stream, fair play. But if you do watch this video and you watch it to the end, you have my sincerest of apologies and um, thank you actually for helping these people get something to watch uh, by pointing out the clear audio. And um, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to upload this in my videos for people to refer to. And uh, the rest of the stream, all the previous stuff on the stream will be lost. Okay. Uh, so wait a couple of days uh, to uh, get this uploaded and um, I could upload it now but uh, we haven't got a thumbnail for the maybe uh, I don't think I've got time to make a thumbnail for the stream today so uh, maybe I could just use a default thumbnail 
in there so okay thanks a lot um for uh joining me interesting comment most people i know learn remembering formulas and stuff in school but that fails them immediately when the world because they aren't through experience read remember repeat read remember repeat read remember repeat that doesn't mean that you're going to win right it just means you can read remember and repeat okay thanks a lot i'll see you all on the next stream bye bye and remember as ever keep it real